everybody, my name is Ms. Allie, and today we're going to be talking about some awesome YA titles you can place on hold to pick up using our new curbside service. To learn more about our curbside service, please visit our website at hallcountylibrary.org or visit us on Facebook to find out more information. Now, the books I have to talk about today are all books on the Tome High School reading list, so if you're wanting to get started with your reading a little bit early, this is the perfect opportunity and we've got you covered. The first book I have to recommend today is by one of my absolute favorite authors, and that is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is an action-packed science fiction story about a girl named Spensa who wants nothing more than to be a pilot and help save her planet from the attacking Krell. However, several years ago, Spence's father, a renowned pilot, went AWOL and then began attacking his own team members, forever branding him as a traitor and getting himself killed in the process. Spence is haunted by her father's decision and must prove herself in order to attend the prestigious flight school so her dreams of soaring through the stars can become a reality. This is definitely one of my favorite YA science fiction stories, so if you have not yet picked this up, I highly, highly recommend. Up next, we have a historical fiction story written by the one and only Alan Gratz. Now you might know him from books such as Refugee or Grenade, however we are back with his new installment Allies following a group of characters set during D-Day. Throughout this story we follow D, a U.S. soldier approaching the coast of France about to storm the beaches of Normandy, Samira, a French girl spying on the Germans, James, a paratrooper ready to join a midnight battle, and Henry, a medic looking to save lives. These characters meet danger on every turn as they try to fight for what is right in a book that is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. Now I've mentioned several times that I love fairy tales and this next book gives a haunting twist to The Twelve Dancing Princesses tale. In Erin Ailey's A House of Salt and Sorrow, we follow a girl named Anna Lee who lives by the sea with her father, stepmother, and sisters. In a home that was once filled with laughter from 12 young girls was transformed by loss at the loss of four. Each of the four girls was taken by what appears to be an accident, such as the plague, a fall, or drowning. However, Anna Lee begins to suspect that perhaps there's more to their deaths than meets the eye, especially when she starts having ghostly visions. Can Anna Lee solve the mystery of her sister's death before she winds up next? This book is spooky and mysterious and sure to have you reading till the very last page. Finally, we have Emily Lloyd-Jones, The Bone Houses, which has been described as a historical fiction, fantasy, horror novel. There's a lot going on here. In this, we follow a young girl named Wren, whose parents have passed away, leaving her to care for her siblings and her family's graveyard. Now, in order to make ends meet, Wren and her siblings begin working as grave diggers. However, in the remote village of Colburn, the dead don't always stay dead, which obviously causes some problems. The corpses that rise from their graves are known as the bone houses, which is supposedly caused by this legend that haunts this town. And when an apprentice map maker named Ellis enters the town, the bone houses begin attacking with a new gusto. This forces Ren and Ellis to team up and work together to stop the attacks and face the curse head on. For those of you that are fans of Neil Gaiman, I highly recommend this book. Please remember that you can place any of these titles on hold and pick them up via curbside pickup. To learn how, go to our website at hallcountylibrary.org or give us a call and we will be happy to set you up. We hope everyone is staying safe and we hope to see you soon. Bye!